So what's up guys, now now that my intro is over and done, I know I probably just did cut the video, but yeah, so what I'm going to show you guys is, you know, five tips and tricks that are definitely going to put you ahead of your other Minecraft friends. This is going to make you stand out and be a pro in Minecraft, just, you know, some tips that you most likely didn't know. So, one of the things we do in Minecraft is we do fight mobs. Now, a lot of the times we do have creepers in Minecraft and a lot of the times we don't always know how to deal with creepers. Now, there's two ways. Now, this is sort of like a two-in-one tip because there's two ways you can sort of deal with creepers. So, I'm going to spawn one creeper here and I'm going to show you guys firstly a quick tip to, you know, stop like if they're going to explode. I'll show you what to do if they're going to explode. And I'm going to show you what to do if you don't want to explode. So, first tip is that if a creeper is, you know, if he's coming after you, I don't know why this creeper can't see me, if he is going to explode, what you can do is, I'll show you guys quickly, so let's say he comes over here and, you know, he wants to explode, let's say he wants to explode, if he loses sight of you, he won't explode, so as you guys can see, as I got, as I went around the corner there, he didn't explode because he couldn't see me, so as long as they can't see you guys, the quick tip is that they won't explode so you can just you know go around a corner try go around maybe a block try you know go around something else and they won't explode now the next quick sort of tip again is that i don't uh, he shouldn't explode there is that um if they if they do explode like for example if you're trapped you know if you're trapped somewhere and they are going to explode what you should do is if you have a sword you should take it out and then you should hold it like this because if it does explode um as you guys can see it took around four hearts then i'm gonna do, then i'm gonna do one more again i'm gonna do a creep um, and I'm not going to use, uh, and I'm not going to use my sword because that one it took around four and a half hearts without, with, no, okay, so it took four and a half hearts when I was holding my sword like this when I was blocking the damage, and I'll show you what it does when I'm not blocking the damage. So I'm going to show you guys, uh, let's just eat some food because I think I'm actually low on health. So let's give a potion of instant health. Uh, let's go back to survival. So as you guys can see, let's just take this potion of health. Okay, is that is that is that only one heart? Okay, you know what? We're gonna need to we're gonna need to eat some food because um we need some potions of instant health. Uh, potion of health, potion of instant health. Let's go back. Okay, so yeah, there we go. So instant health. Uh, there we go, and there we go. So we're all healed up now. But yeah, um, I'll show you guys what happens when I don't block. So let's place the creeper down and let it explode. And okay, well I didn't explode right next to it, so we're gonna have to do this again. Uh, I do apologize, but yeah. So this one I'm just gonna spawn the creeper in. I'm going to be right next to it. So remember, four and a half hearts when blocking. I'll show you what happens when you don't block. As you guys can see, when you don't block, you immediately die, as you guys can see. Although I did, you know, get hit by a creeper before. So, of course, that was two creeper hits. But it took around seven to eight hearts, which is pretty much nearly all of your health. And what you guys saw was there is that I actually took some full damage as well because I was struck back. But when you block it, you don't jump back all the way. You jump back a little bit. So when you block it, you block about half of the damage from a creeper or an explosion, which is really, really cool. Because a lot of the times you can't avoid, you know, a creeper exploding or whatnot and it's just i don't know it's really really cool that you can use any sword to block it now of course different swords i haven't tested this yet guys but i do believe that different swords block different amounts but i haven't tested this yet so i don't know if that is you know entirely true i, I don't i don't know if that will work or not you guys might should i test it I, I, i'll probably test it in another video but yeah um we're gonna go on to the next tip now the next tip is really really cool and this one is for those of you guys who are builders. Now, this is a quick tip. And this would have actually saved me a lot of time. So, I'm actually pretty surprised that I just found this one. Because I'm actually I'm actually kind of mad that I just found this one. Because this one is one that we should know. We should know this one. And, you know, it's just where I'm, I'm, I, can't, I can't believe I didn't, I didn't know this one. So, um, if, for example, let's just go over here. Let's make ourselves an area. An area that we want to fill in with water. So, this is what's basically is. It's basically the most efficient way to fill in an area with water. Maybe you want to create an area that you want to dive into maybe you want to create an area just full of water maybe you just want to create an area for pools the most what most people do like what the majority of people do is if they're you know going to fill in the water is they will place the water along the edge here and then we'll be running across and then they'll place the water along the edge here and then we'll be filling in so i'll show you guys that now so we place the water along here and as you guys can see it, it goes in and then i'll place the water along here and as you guys can see it should go okay if i place it along here as you guys can see yep it all goes nicely. However, guys, that's not actually the quickest way to do it. That is actually the slowest way to do it. That's actually one of the slowest ways to do it. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So I'm going to use a sponge and just get rid of all this stuff. And sponge are actually so useful. So the quickest way to actually do it, guys, is if you place water diagonally in, you know, if, if it's actual like a cube, you can actually place it diagonally, guys. So that's the quickest way. So I'll show you guys if we have an exact cube. So this is a... 
one two three four one two three five one two three four one two three four so it's just here so i'll just show you guys what happens in an actual cube now i'm not sure how you use this in odd shapes but in a cube you definitely want to go like this so i'm just placing them down the middle and as you guys can see it all fills up instantly guys instantly 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 and the same thing you can do with the ice you can do ice there and then if you go into survival guys i'll show you guys quickly so this is number two how to place you know water correctly if you break it in survival and you do that and we do that and we do that and we go over here and we do that and we do that as you guys can see it should all get filled up really really quickly and really really nicely which is a nice little tip a nice little cool tip for you guys um, and i really do love sponges because they make things so much easier so yeah um so the next tip we have here for you guys is another another awesome awesome tip now this one is for survival because of course you know we do play a lot of survival here in minecraft so survival 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 guys um so one thing that a lot of people do in survival and it's a really really cool thing i think and not enough people do it is people do fish so as i was saying guys what people do is they fish in minecraft now of course when you're fishing in minecraft it's very very you know you, what you want to do is you want to get the most fish in the quickest time a lot because a lot of the time what you have to do is when you're fishing you just stand there and you're just waiting for the water to bubble up so you know you can get a fish now if you don't know how to fish the basics are you get a fishing rod which you can use by getting some string and you just destroy spider webs and caves and stuff like that or you can get a different way as you guys can see the fish is there and then of course when i throw this back i should get you know a fish and of course i didn't get a fish but i did get a boat now of course you know when you fish you can always get other items like junk and stuff like that and this is pretty much junk so as i was saying guys before i was really interrupted for the second time um yeah pretty much what people do is when they're fishing they want to get the fish and of course what happens is you know when you're fishing you do get fish but it isn't always quick now a lot of the times you can get junk as you guys can see that i got a bow a lot of the times it does take a lot of you know time to actually get the fish because you're just waiting guys you're just waiting and it's up to chance like you never know when you're going to get fish you never know what you're going to get but what you can do to increase your chance in survival is you can wait because in survival there's always going to be a weather cycle you can wait until it's going to be raining and what happens is that when it was raining is that you have a much much better chance to get fish now of course this is you know it, i think it's i'm not sure how much better the chance is to actually get fish i'm not sure entirely how bad the chance is but i just know that this is a is an increased chance of you to get fish now of course for some reason i'm not getting any fish over here i don't know why that is i, I think maybe maybe it's not working on console edition but generally in minecraft if you guys do want more fish when it's fishing if it's raining and you guys think mm, what can i do in this time definitely use this time as you guys can see that we just got a puffer fish um definitely use this time and if you don't see fish coming straight away maybe within like 10 seconds just reel your stuff in and reel it out again because i definitely feel like certain areas are much better and you guys see the fish is over there and of course we got a second fish so as you guys can see we got two fish within seconds guys and before we were fishing in the daytime and we got how many fish guys we got none and we got just a, a useless useless bow now you kind of have to do pay attention when fishing to see the little ripples of water coming across and as you guys can see i don't see anything just yeah i'm gonna give it one more second and as you guys can see we just reel it back in so yeah definitely a really really good tip i definitely feel like this one a lot more people should use because i always see people at drone worlds i don't you guys survive worlds and i always see people fishing i'm just like why do you guys wait until it's raining to do all the fishing because that is definitely the best time and it's always always good to be efficient in minecraft because that's what a lot of people do and as you guys can see oh well apparently we didn't get anything there i don't know why i don't know how we didn't catch fish there but yeah this is the third tip so the third tip is just fish during rain for more fish very good tip very easy tip very simple tip to remember and a very very nice tip now of course uh we're, we're done with the fishing so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys another quick tip now this fourth quick tip is for survival again so this one is really really cool and i'm just gonna take the rain off let's take the rain off and let's go into a cave because this one is about a cave guys so obviously when we're i don't know why i said obviously so weirdly so when we come into minecraft worlds one thing that we always always spawn with is a map now of course a map you can see the entire world with and what that means is that you can you know use a map to think where to go when you know know certain places on the map but what you should use a map for is, is if you're in survival is to locate a lot of things for example you know if you're in a cave um a lot of people what they do is um you know on the pc i know people press f something but we're not talking about the pc we're talking about console edition so i'm gonna get the torches quickly and uh, let's say i was going down into a cave 
um, and I'm trying to find some diamonds because that's that's what most people are doing in a cave. They're, they're, they're trying to find diamonds. Let's be serious here. They are trying to find diamonds, and these skeletons are up to something, boy. Um, but yeah, we're, we're trying to find diamonds. We're going down to a cave, and let's say, you know, we're mining or whatever. What most people should do, and what I don't see enough people doing, guys, in survival on console edition, is you should have the map in your offhand slot. Now, the reason you should have it in your offhand slot is because, for one, you can actually know which level the diamonds are at and if you didn't know i believe it's y12 to um another level i think it's y12 and below that you can find diamonds at or maybe y17 i know it's one of the two but if i did get that wrong please just you know correct me in the comment section because i can get things wrong sometimes but yeah i believe that's the level and obviously you know you want to make sure you're at the best level for getting diamonds of course now let's say for example things go wrong you don't get diamonds what you should do as well guys is you should have your map in your offhand slot just in case just in case guys let's say we're mining down here we mine open to a cave and then a creeper catches us by surprise what we're gonna do what we, let's say we die uh of course we, we're not gonna know where all our stuff is so that's why it's good to have the map in your, in your offhand slot because i know that i'm at x67 and z115 so i'm at this area so you know if i ever do die um i can know exactly where i died which is just on my offhand spot now let's say for example guys and this is an additional tip so let's say for example and this is on the xbox one only i'm not sure you do this on playstation let's say you you know we're mining and you do die on the console edition what you can do guys is you can actually you know record the clip so let's say you had it in your offhand slot and you didn't remember you don't remember the numbers because it is quite kind of hard to remember you know a bunch of numbers and a bunch of letters so what you could do is you could double tap x and then you could click x and then you could record the game clip so you go into the game clip and then you look at where you died so you just hold the x button to launch and then you go on the game clip and then you play it and then when you play that game clip, you'll see exactly where you died and you'll see exactly on the map where your stuff is, which is a, which is an even cooler tip, guys. I know a lot or not, a lot or not, not a lot of people use it. So that's why I wanted to bring that one up in today's video. So the next tip, the final tip, the fifth tip, the last tip, guys, is one that is going to surprise you. One that surprised me was shocking because I was messing around in survival and I was like, wait, what? This actually happens. Um, But yes, guys this one is true so we're gonna have a mini no not not a mini, not, not a mini competition but a sort of um a, a quick sort of test but the difference isn't big guys but it does matter i do want to say that the difference isn't big but it does matter because it's kind of weird so one thing that you will know is that you know diamond breaks blocks fast however guys gold actually breaks blocks faster but gold doesn't last nearly as long as diamond or even for as half as long which is definitely why gold is used so i'll show you guys gold 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 and then we've got diamond and as you guys can see diamond takes a bit longer guys diamond takes just a bit longer to break the blocks now i don't know if you guys knew that but i certainly didn't know that before you know doing my research and just messing around in the survival world which i was like wait what gold actually breaks blocks faster as you guys can see it just completely shreds through the blocks whereas diamond it does it fast but it just takes that extra second as you guys can see there i don't know if it, i don't know if it's noticeable but gold breaks blocks faster which is i don't know guys would you use gold to mine blocks you definitely don't want to make a golden pickaxe because there's no reason to have a golden pickaxe because it's just going to run out anyways and you can use gold for other stuff such as you know mine carts well, activated mine carts or whatever those mine carts are called they're supposed to use them but you can use gold for um maybe golden apples golden carrots just just a bunch of other other stuff guys just a bunch of you know other stuff that is better for you know minecraft but yeah Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully you guys did get these tips because I certainly didn't know these tips and hopefully you did. And hopefully you guys do come back to these videos as well because, you know, it's always good to see what tips and tricks there are because a lot of the times some of these tips and tricks can be new because updates do change the game. So always, always, always check out these videos to know what's going on in the Minecraft community because you never want to miss a video. So that's for everybody, guys. It's been Drew C. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day and until next time, it's going to be peace from me.